Hello, I'm Tara Makura of the ITS Service Desk and welcome to the UCOP Cloud. The purpose of this video is to show you how to access and navigate the UCOP Cloud computing environment. Today, I'm going to take a few minutes to show you the following. How to log on to the cloud, what to look for in using the cloud desktop, how to access applications directly from the cloud, how data is stored, accessed, and protected within the cloud, how to use the desktop toolbar. Let's start with logging in. Go to mycloud.ucop.edu. There you will type in your standard computer login and password, the same as that you would at a UCOP workstation. The next screen will give you options for your cloud applications and cloud desktop. Let's have a look at the cloud desktop. Click on the desktop tab at the bottom of the screen and click the cloud desktop icon. A Windows 7 virtual environment will be displayed in front of you. It will look and feel just like a normal Windows 7 computing, computing but will be run within a web browser. Here you'll be able to go to the start menu to access applications. You'll be able to access network drives, personal and department. And you will also be able to go to your printers as well. Let me show you how to access applications from cloud directly without relying on the cloud desktop. Sometimes it's not always necessary to work within a cloud Windows 7 environment. In many occasions, it might be useful to only access particular applications. Going back to the login screen, you can click the Apps tab at the bottom. This will allow you to see a complete list of available cloud applications that you have permissions to use. From here, you can click on the application and it will be added to your favorites by going here. For example, I wanted to add Microsoft Project. Applications can be launched from this view and will appear just like it was a normally launched application. Let's stop for a minute and review data storage and how it will work, how your data will have greater protection, and how you'll access it in the cloud environment. Since data is being moved off of your local device and being stored in the cloud, it is important to note that there will be no backups for your device. Data which is stored within the cloud will have backups available. If you're using the cloud desktop environment, all data within will uh, will have ongoing backups. That includes your cloud documents library. Data should always be stored in the P drive or personal network file shares. So let's go ahead and go there. Department network file shares are also a suggested location. If you are a heavy email user, that look online archive and not the local PST files is a great alternative if you need reliable storage. Items in the online archive are backed up as well. Local PSTs or personal folders will not. The online archive is not available in the Windows Outlook client, but is also available within OWA for remote users. And here is the online archive. Once again, data stored locally will not be backed up in this support model.
Finally, let me walk you through the desktop toolbar and show you how to use it can help you set preferences, settings for your individual cloud desktop. Within the cloud desktop environment, there is a desktop toolbar that can be accessed by clicking on the pull down tab. There is a home button, which will take you back to the original login screen. The next button is a send control alt delete screen that will allow you to lock or log out of your cloud desktop and session. There's a desktop viewer preference. This will walk you through to alter display settings. Full screen will allow you uh, will allow your cloud desktop environment to expand to your entire screen. And finally the disconnect button will allow you to close the current window but we'll leave the virtual desktop running, allowing you to reconnect and return to what you were doing when you left. To end a cloud application or cloud desktop session, you can close the window by using the X or the screen, close screen at the upper right hand corner. If you want to fully log out or shut down out of your cloud desktop session, you can go to the start menu and and choose the options similar to if you were on working on a local computer. Thank you for spending the time and becoming more familiar with the cloud computing environment. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact IT Service Desk. Enjoy the cloud.